Hello, welcome back to another video. I recently posted a video on how to parse a CSV with Microsoft Power Automate. This is an update to that post which shows you how you can do it even faster. It's very simple to do, so let's just get into it and I'll show you how it works. So we've got one action here, get file content, and this is getting a CSV of 5,000 rows. Here is the file here, it's got one header line from the field names, and then the data begins. And as you can see, <clears throat> there are 5,000 records. So, the first step is to split it on a new line. So I'm just gonna create, compose, put a new line in there, and I'm gonna call this new line. Then I'll do another compose, I'm going to type the expression split and I'm going to use the output of get file content as the input and I'm going to split it on new line. Then I'm going to take do another compose. I'm going to use first, split by lines, that's going to get me the first element of this new array, the first line of which will be the headers. I'm going to do split with a comma. And call that field names. Let's just have a quick test at this stage to see how it looks. So here we've got our field names in a nice neat array. Split by lines will be too large to see the output, but we'll show you that in a minute. So now we'll go straight into a select action to reshape that CSV into a JSON. So our source will be split by lines I'm going to skip the first row of data so that we're straight into the data part. Here I'm going to use the output from the field names, which is an array, and the zero element, so the first element of the field names. I'm just going to bring that all the way down to, I think there were five, six columns, but they're numbered from zero. So it will be zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we've got our field names down on the left-hand side, and we need to get some data. So we'll do split item, try to Think in terms of the array, each um, element that's coming into this select is uh, a string array and which is delimited by commas. So we can split it here on the comma and then we'll take the zero element of that array because we've got an array generated by this split expression. And I'll do the same here, zero through to five. Okay, so now we've got our select populated with the field names and with the data. With the field names, you could just hard code them in, but this is just a, a little shortcut. Then what I'm going to do is another compose. I'm going to do an expression and I'm going to say take the output of select and oh, I don't know, three records. I'm going to call this one sample data. Let's give that another test. Okay, so there we've been through the entire 5,000 lines of this CSV file, and we've got a sample data 
It's just showing us the first few records. The reason I like to include this is that we can then copy these outputs and add in a parse JSON step. And our content will be the output of the select. And then we can put in the output of the sample data as the data schema. And then we will get all of our dynamic data back. As you can see, here are the field names through from the CSV. And that is all there is to it. It's a super simple method of really speeding up those past CSV, oper CSV operations. Um, as you can see, that is 5,000 rows in one second or two seconds. So it's really much easier than doing an apply to each and much, much faster. So see how you get on. Let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you get a good result. Cheers and good luck.